What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I am going to show you how to create a simple water splash effect using Niagara. It's going to be a very easy with the follow, so let's get started. But first, if you are serious about learning and making your first game in Unreal Engine 5, join my Unreal Club. Inside, you will be able to download entire private files from my tutorials, enter private meetings and webinars with industry experts, access exclusive ebooks packed with the best tricks, get powerful asset frameworks to speed up your blueprints, and much more. The link is in the description. With that said, let's continue with the video. Alright, so as you can see, I've already imported a simple water splash texture which is going to be using for the Niagara effect. In this case, it's just a PNG image with transparency and it's just stylized or cartoony, so it's just kind of cooler, okay? But of course, you can use whatever water splash image you find on the internet or you create yourselves. So with that said, let's right click and create a new Niagara system. And in this case, let's search for burst, okay? Burst is like a one-time explosion, which is the most similar thing to a water splash. So there's a couple of different kind of, yeah, splashes that we could select to. Um, in this case, the best one is going to be the omnidirectional burst. I used to uh, usually use this one in my tutorials for like first step effects with dust or jump effects, things like this, because it's just an explosion that happens in all directions. Okay, it's just like in a sphere that exploded. Okay, but of course, you could also use a directional burst if you want a water splash at a specific um, direction or also radio if we want like some trails but in this case omnidirection will work just fine let's hit create ns underscore water splash and open this up okay cool so in this case we already have a simple water splash going on but of course it's just with little white spheres and it doesn't look very good so now it is time to actually use the water splash texture that we imported let's right click on the texture create material and name it something as m underscore splash or water splash and open this up so first of all let's select the main material and change the blend mode from opaque to translucent that way we can plug in the alpha to the opacity and as you can see the water splash has transparency going on which is what we need of course right now you want to add another node over here in the material so that we can use some properties that we're using in the Niagara. For example, in here we're changing the color of the sprite and also the opacity of the sprite with a curve as you know time goes on. In this case, it's the alpha, right? Nothing will happen if we don't have a node here to do this. So this will be the particle color node, and we just need to get the incoming RGB and multiply it with the one in our texture, plug that to the base color. And then we have to do exactly the same thing with the alpha is get the alpha of the particle color, multiply it with the alpha of the texture. And now this will be the new opacity. OK, very simple. You just apply, save and close. So now we're just going to go to the sprite renderer and change the material of this Niagara effect. So I search for M underscore water splash. And here it is selected and boom, we already have the water splash going ahead and working. But it looks very, very ugly. <laughs> this is because the particles are just very small and they look more like dust than, you know, water or whatever. So if we go to the initialized particle kind of node here, we can see the range in size. Right now it's from 3 to 7. It's kind of random. So let's put it from 25 to maybe 35. As you can see, now we start to get a bigger one. Now this looks kind of like, like, <laughs> like snow. I'm not gonna lie, so let's make it even a bit bigger, maybe like 45 and 55 or 50. And we're gonna also go ahead and change a bit the uh, burst fade, right? Let's say the lifetime, because right now they stay for a very long time and kind of water, you know, just splashes a bit quicker in video games. So the lifetime minimum will be like 0.3 and maximum 0.4. So you can see now she's more fast, uh, maybe like 0.5. And that's it. It's working. We have like a water splash going on. If I drag this here, boom, that's it. Here it is. Uh, I'm not sure there's a loop here. So let's just test this by pressing play or even better, spawn in it when we press a key in our keyboard. Okay. So in order to spawn a Niagara effect when pressing a key in our keyboard or whatever you want, I'm going to go ahead and open up a blueprint. In this case, I am going to be opening the third person catch blueprint. And when I press the left mouse button, I'm going to spawn 
a system at a specific location. Okay, in this case, system is just Niagara effect. So remember that. Let's put in NS water splash and then the location will be just the um, mesh of the player a bit forward. Okay, so we can say get actor location or get rotation two. So now from the rotation, we get the forward vector. Okay, and we multiply by a value, which will be the distance. Right click on the second pin, let's make it to a float to be like uh, 200 and then add the location with this new value for the location. Okay, so what we just did is just a typical formula that we use for line traces, which is to spawn this Niagara system right in front of the player, just 200 units in front of it. Okay, rotation scale, a little bit like that, pulling auto and acid, right? So I press the left mouse button, we get a splash right in front of the player and of course you can modify this as you want over here in the Niagara system change more the alpha of it the color everything like you want okay for example i can make the alpha disappear just faster right and maybe this is even more like water you know you can play around with that kind of stuff and that's it so that's it guys if you found this video helpful i would really appreciate it if you like and subscribe to my channel Join my Unreal Club if you want to download the profiles and learn Unreal Engine 5. And now, yes, with all that said, bye-bye.